I'm standing in one of my favorite cities in the United States, St. Louis, Missouri, and there's all kinds of stuff to do here. You have the Cardinals, the Blues, you've got uh, Six Flags, Grant's Farm, Anheuser-Busch, city museums, all kinds of things to see and do. But don't pass on an opportunity to come to the hill. The hill is the highest point in St. Louis, and it's nothing but a neighborhood that was developed by Italian immigrants in the 1800s who came over developed the World's Fair, and then he just decided to stay, and they brought their food with them. If you're on the hill around lunchtime, you got to check this place out. Guys Del, famous for their homemade hot salami, and they've been doing it over 100 years. This little spot behind me is Mama Campesi's, or Mama's on the Hill. Great little restaurant. First one I ever visited in St. Louis, and it's where I really fell in love with the Hill. My favorite when I come is gotta be the seafood linguine. But I'll tell you another interesting tip about this place. Supposedly, supposedly, this is the house where the ravioli were dropped in the grease by mistake. They continued to fry to perfection and were given away at the bar. Toasted ravioli is everywhere in St. Louis now and the United States. Now, if you're a Carbonara fan like I am, you don't want to miss Zia's. Carbonara is amazing. Great Caesar salad, too. And if you ever want to know, am I on the hill? Just look around you. If the fire hydrants are painted like the Italian flag or the crosswalks are painted like the Italian flag, you're on the hill. And if you want to go old school with maybe a great piece of lasagna or some linguine with clams, Guido's, right there. That's where you want to be. And they've got what I think is the best Caesar salad in St. Louis. You want an excellent appetizer of fried spinach, flash fried spinach that is, or a big hearty bowl of short rib ragu, La Russa's Cucina. That's where you want to be, right here on the edge of the hill. I know what you're saying. Lambo, tell me you're not standing in front of a restaurant that's in a hotel. But this is different. The Drury people aren't interested in chain restaurants in their hotels, so they went onto the hill and talked to the Bartolino family, talked them into relocating here. Their original restaurants were Joey B's is today, and this place is fabulous. From the appetizers, it has toasted ravioli and a Siciliano sauce, which is amazing, to the sole topped with crab meat, cheese sitting over a top of angel hair with white sauce, or the seafood um, risotto is just flat amazing. Give this place a try, guys. Now, the Bartolino family also has a diner, Chris's Pancake House. Great food and a great spot for breakfast. It's got all the traditional diner items. I can tell you the corned beef hash and eggs is amazing and the Bloody Maria is amazing, but their hit is their breakfast fried rice. <laughs> 